Hello YouTube, Katie Hill Farmer back with another video. Uh, it's going to be a little bit about chainsaws, but before we get back in the video, uh, if you like the content that you're seeing, please uh, hit the subscribe button if you ain't already. And for the subscribers or new subscribers, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I have a video. Um, also check out the Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Katie Hill Farmer and also uh hope you enjoy the video hope everybody had a good christmas and holidays or new year's uh, but a little update on the farm before we get into the video uh muddy 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 it's been pretty mild we have had some frozen ground but uh as you can see on the side of side it's just it's mud and uh actually i just got done feeding the bell to the cattle uh the john deere uh it didn't like it very well but we got it fed but uh anyhow uh let's get into the video and tell you what it's all about okay guys to get into the video uh as you can tell the table's a mess but uh we got the steel 462 and as you can see we had an accident uh give you a little backstory it was christmas morning um i do run with the local fire department and we got toned for a tree down on uh main highway uh the which when we got on scene it was a pretty big poplar tree uh rotted halfway up on the hill and anyhow <clears throat> We started cutting up with the department saw. Uh, those guys got theirs wedged, which I was uh, the call was not too far from home. So I just <clears throat> when they got the saw wedged, I decided to come get this one, which I had the 32 inch bore on it, which uh, you know it is what it is. Usually I just use that to you know cut firewood. I should have took time to put the 20 inch on it and. Uh, had a good chain on it, uh, the chain's laying right here, but it was dark, you couldn't, you know, all you had was the headlights, and uh, what happened is the tree was, uh, I actually have a picture on Instagram, the tree was up on the hill, well, when I was cutting it, I got it to come down off the hill, and it was pretty much down, and I went to take that final cut, and uh, I was bottom cutting it up, then I just there was just a little bit left on top and when I the tree started to shift and when I tried to when I pulled the saw back the chain popped off it got loose couldn't see it and done this damage so uh, anyhow we got the work sharp sharpener here uh, I'm not sure the exact term for I'll call them your uh, sprocket teeth or whatever but there's a couple of them nicked up and they won't go in the slot of the blade so i'm going to show you guys how i use the work sharp to sharpen them and as you can see i mean it it hit pretty hard it took a it took a pretty good hit so you guys can tell i mean she was she was running pretty good but uh anyhow we'll see if we can't get this fixed and go from there Okay guys, we got the work sharp ready. As you can see, I hope I hope the camera's picking up. As you can see, that one's not pointed. That one's got a burr on it. There's only a few of them. It really ain't that bad. Uh, so we'll just get them, you know, go down through the chain. But like I said, there's only a few of them. Then we'll put it on the bar, run it through, see how it works. But, uh, yeah, guys, I mean, these are expensive chains. As you can tell, I mean, this chain, usually when they start getting like that, I'll go ahead and uh, sharpen them. But, uh, like I said, we was uh, just trying to get home Christmas morning, get back in service and get home. But, uh, anyhow, we'll take the work sharp sharpener. We'll get these took care of, run it around, all that good stuff. But, uh, I don't know, like I said, you'll have accidents and, uh, had one with my own saw. And the nice thing is if it does 
uh, ruin the chain, we can we'll get another one. But uh, tell me what you guys think. Is it going to hurt? I, I really don't want to hurt my 32 inch lightweight bar. Uh, in the comments below, tell me if you think it will bother it. I can't see it bothering it by no means, but I've never ran uh, the lightweight. I don't bar. I don't know if they're not as strong as the you know uh, regular steel bar. But anyhow, we'll get the uh, we'll get set up here, and I'll show you how I'm going to do this. Pretty much, you just find your spots in the chain, which we identified. Uh, we'll, there's one for sure, there's another one, there's another one. So the reason I like the work sharp is it's not as dangerous to use. Uh, you know that little sandy pad ain't gonna hurt nothing. So we'll just start it up like that. We got that side. I'm gonna go. I'll check the other teeth here. Mm. You can pretty well feel it in your chain, and you can see it pretty well. This chain's getting all dogged up here. Yeah, I love that. Had to untangle it there real quick, but uh, we'll go ahead and check the rest of this chain out. I feel a spot right there, not too bad though. Uh, I don't think we're gonna let me check this other side. I don't like I said, I'm just looking over the chain right now, guys. And the reason I like that work sharp is because you put that fine disc on it because all you want to do is knock off that burr. That's all you want to do on this chain. You don't want to change nothing on it. You just want to knock off that burr. But I really don't feel no other edges on it. So we will let's just uh, put it on the bar here. If you guys can see it, I'll put the camera up there just a little bit. And all I'm going to do is run it through the chain, through the bar. Alright, see, I found one right there. It's going to be on the back side of this bar. So we will get work sharp down and find it again. Let's see, it just won't it won't go in the bar is your problem. Let's get the work sharp going here. All 
Smack that one's back in. Like I said, guys, it don't take much. And the next one's got to burn it. Another one. I said, guys, you just gotta knock the burrs off. Here's a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. Always remember your tips a little bit wider than the rest of your chain. And boy, that thing is getting stuck right there. All right, let me work on it. We'll get back here in a second and uh, see how she does. Okay, guys, we got all the nicks out of it. I got it on the chainsaw again now. It's, uh, as you can see, it's still pretty loose. But, uh, pretty much just <clears throat> wanted to show you. It's flying on the bar again. And you gotta watch when you do this, guys, especially for chain sharp. And, but, uh, we'll tighten that up a little bit. Start to saw up, make sure all of them are out. I can't see why it wouldn't be. But uh, cover your ears because it's about to be loud. Okay, guys, we got Guess below in the comments how many times it's going to take to start. Put the chain brake on. Oh, <laughs> 
Well, I don't know if the video picked it up, but there must have been a couple of close teeth still that I missed, uh, which the bar, I don't know if you can see the sparks. The chain did loosen up here. We'll give it a little snug it up. And, uh, and actually, when the bolts came loose, which is a not bad because I gotta tighten it up anyhow. So we'll just stick the wrench in there. And guys, that's how much I like a little bit of playing my chain. So don't get your bar hot. Tighten up these lugs. Okay, yeah, the chain's on there. And re always remember when you keep it loose like that, you're always gonna get a little bit more tight when you uh, tighten up your lugs. But uh, anyhow, comment below, like I said, if you see a problem with, and like I said, I can't, for life of me right now, I can't remember what these are called, I'll call them, uh, I don't know the teeth for the bar, but uh, I don't think it'll hurt. You know, just taking a little bit off of them. The uh, work sharp done an excellent job. I got the what would it be the yeah. I ain't sure of the blade on it, but that thing it does a real good job, um, especially for that. It's better than using a grinder. You don't take as much off because it's a uh, fine grit sandpaper, but uh. Anyhow, like I said, and that, which those are replaceable on the pros. I know they are on the pro saws. And, uh, you know, that's why they're on there because if that wouldn't have been on there, that chain, which I had my chaps on, but that chain could have came back and caught my leg instead of catching that saw. I mean, you never know. But, uh, anyhow, thanks for watching. And like I said, if you made it this far, please like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, that's pretty much how you, if you get uh, nicks in the bottom of your chain there, or little birds, that's how you take care of them. Now, on that note too, if it wouldn't have been as bad, it's hard on the bar, don't get me wrong, but if they'll kind of slide through the bar, as you can see, it, it knocked them off what it needed to knock off, that's for sure. And usually it catches them right here where the bar goes together. So... But anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for making the channel what it is. Uh, and we'll talk to you later. Katie Hill Farmers out.